They bring the catch in early on the shores of Lake Victoria. Kilograms of prized fish like perch and tilapia, descaled and prepared under the scorching sun. They're first sold mainly to women who take them to the market, hoping for a small profit. But for years, the currency used between fishermen and female market sellers has been sex rather than money, a practice known as jaboya. I'm forced to pay for fish with sex because I have no other means. Usually, I sleep with one or two fishermen a week. I could get diseases, but I have no other choice. I'm a widow and have five children to send to school. It is an evil practice. But slowly, the tide is turning. Agnes Auma is among a group of women who now own boats and employ fishermen, managing a business to sell the catch through money alone. A local charity called Vired runs the project, dubbed No Sex for Fish. The women use some profits from their sales to repay the cost of the boat. I saw I would have died giving up my body for fish, and I couldn't continue. This project means I no longer have to depend on men to survive. I can fend for myself, and when I repay money for my boat, I do it with a clean conscience. As the nets are unfurled, Agnes is in charge, women empowered in traditional Kenya. Little by little, a long entrenched practice is being reduced here, but this is just one small part of a country where it's still widespread. To end sex for fish for good will require a total change of mindset here, gender attitudes to be overturned, and that will be far harder. But it is crucial. HIV tests here show the infection rate in this part of Kenya is around 15 percent, over double the national average, and it's largely down to sex for fish. Even that, though, doesn't deter some of the fishermen. Old habits die hard. So, I sleep with three women a week in return for fish. I inherited it from my father who used to do the same. The woman pays half with money and half with sex. I'm ashamed of it, but the temptation is still there. Still some way to go then. But the risks are becoming known, and the women of Lake Victoria are starting to buy their fish above board. Mark Lowen, BBC News in Western Kenya.